George Shippey, you're welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Tushy Said. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Wife admits I cheated and now I want a divorce. No more wasting time. Let's get it. I cheated and now I'm trying to get a divorce. Let's hear it. Let's get ready and talk about it. I posted a video yesterday talking about um, my second settlement attempt in court and uh, people are a little bit confused, which rightfully so. But the ones that I want to address today are the ones that are like, you're an adulterer. Well, duh, Deborah. Duh. I've been saying that now for what, a year and a half? We make three minute videos, so I'm going to try to help you in these three minutes as quickly as possible. Thank you. But just so that we can make it clear, Anthony, the man that you see in my videos, if the other guys in my videos, it's only because I didn't know and I couldn't find it to delete it. But Anthony, Anthony and I have known each other since we were seven and 10 years old. We got married when we were like 19 and 22. The company that we were working at at the time we got married, our boss was 18 years older than me, started text messaging me on my personal cell phone, asking me about whether or not I had any sex toys. I've been homeschooled. I didn't even know what that crap was. Grew up in a very uh, religious household. So what does boss do? Boss decides to teach me about it. Affair begins. <laughs> while I'm in a relationship with Anthony. It continues on. Mind you, he is my boss and Anthony's boss. During this time, Anthony and I end up having a baby, our daughter Penelope, who is now 13. She is biologically Anthony's daughter. She has been DNA tested, so don't even bring me that bullshit. Unfortunate. Remind you, this is a short version of the story. On my TikTok, there's a playlist titled New Here. It's like 20 videos. It has the entire story, okay? So me and Anthony have a baby. Remember, Anthony and I have known each other since we were seven and ten years old. Right. We started dry humping and touching each other's private parts when we were like nine and eleven. We got in big trouble for it. We weren't allowed to talk for a couple of years. But boss convinced me that Anthony did something criminal. Anthony and I divorce. That's her excuse for cheating right there. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Three years later, almost three years later, I end up marrying the boss. The boss and I, like a few years after that, end up having a child together, son Huxley, who is seven. Then years after that, I file for divorce from boss. The one I'm trying to divorce right now, I filed for divorce in December of 2021. Anthony and I got back together in January of 2022. What's going on? <laughs> what is this story, bro? What? is she talking about somebody please help me i love everything about coffee it is one of my favorite things in life get me some coffee man we then started doing adult things and then we had this baby together baby anthony my divorce is taking so long right now because the custody trying to get sorted out he she got back together with she got back together with the first guy he took her back wow Basically told the court that because Anthony and I were dry humping back when we were nine and 11, it somehow makes us criminal and I shouldn't be allowed to be a mother. However, the courts have determined after their evaluation that we were of similar age and psychological development and that no wrongdoing or criminal activity occurred. So yes, Deborah, I did commit adultery when I cheated on Anthony with the boss. Yes, Deborah, I'm obviously having sex with Anthony nightly while I'm still legally married and trying to get divorced. Oh my goodness you guys know what bugged me the most about this story other than the fact that i'm still in shock listen guys we're going to check out some of these comments and see what the people have to say this story is wild but first i have to say this what bugged me the most about this story is when she was saying let me tell you a story and get ready with me i see her putting all this stuff on her face this is going to tie in and i did not not one time see her pick up a bottle of the sponsor of today's video tease Henley. As some of you guys may know, I've been talking about Teach Henley for about a year now. And the question is probably why? Well, because guys, I'm not somebody who's easily swayed or convinced on anything. I had to try it for myself. And once I did, I decided I was going to promote it to you over and over again until you get it, man. This stuff works. As men, we've got so much to worry about. The last thing you should be worrying about is your skin. They make it so easy for you. Like I've always said, Teach Handling makes skincare uncomplicated. One, hit the link pinned to the top of the comment section. Two, use the instructional card. It would tell you every step 
from beginning to end nice and simple and three enjoy better skin and you get a free gift what are you waiting for hit that link pinned to the top of the comment section it's easy to just focus on the money and trying to hit the gym improve yourself but the simple stuff man the simple stuff the easy stuff are usually the things that men overlook don't miss out this is that coffee you want to drink drink the coffee hit the link pinned to the top of the comment section get your first box of tea channel today all right guys we're back so we have a wife here who admits that she cheated on her ex-husband with their boss or his boss story was all over the place and had a baby with the ex-husband and then had a baby with the boss and then got back together with the ex-husband he took her back and now she's divorcing the boss crazy first comment here reads this the type of drama my sims be having Hilarious. Another comment here says, honestly, I appreciate your honesty in sharing with us. I know it's hard to do. It didn't seem, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't seem very hard for her to share the story. Another comment here says, me, why is she telling everybody all her business? Because it's TikTok, man, is what modern women do today. Also me, she says, listening to all her business. Another comment here says, you're taking accountability and they're still mad with the crying emoji. Here's another comment from another woman that says, damn girl, Anthony loves you. With the exclamation mark, that is true. What do you guys think of him taking her back, man? You already know what I think. Personally for myself, that coffee is way too hot for me. I'm good. Next comment here from another woman says, girl, you messy, but I'm interested. Another comment says, so the boss is mad because Anthony got his wife back? With the exclamation marks, with the laughing emoji. Another comment here says, Anthony, love you for real, for real. OMG, yep, yep, yep. Uh, another comment says, baby, Anthony knows all the tea." The laughing emojis and oh 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 she's talking about the baby anthony there and we're gonna block that baby's face why put the why put the baby in the video now the comment says your life is so messy in the utmost classiest way listen i'm not gonna lie on the scale of one of the most messy situations reported even here on the coffee pod this would probably make top 10 for sure insane crazy situation that i would never want to be in in a million years and I think most men would agree. Listen, leave your comments down below. I appreciate you guys as always for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.